Hi everyone, today I'm going to share with you all how to install FSR 3.1 and frame generation in Final Fantasy 16 on the Steam Deck using a free to download mod, as well as installing another mod for making our aspect ratio 16 by 10 and I'll be guiding you step by step on how to achieve this as quickly as possible. From desktop mode, come over to your web browser and access DLSS Enabler's GitHub page, link in the description, and we want to come over to Releases. Scroll down to the bottom until you find DLSS Enabler Setup.exe and download this now. In our Downloads folder, we want to right click on the setup, Add to Steam, and while we're here, right click Create New Folder, and we want to press Steam and X and call this DLSS. Once that's done, go to Steam on your taskbar and access your library. When you load into Steam, find the setup using the search option and using your Steam keyboard. Access DLSS Enabler Setup, press the cog symbol, Properties, Compatibility, and we want to assign Proton Experimental, and close the window. Press play on the setup, and once it loads, you will notice that your trackpad is no longer working. What we can do is hold down the Steam button to make this activated again. Press Accept and Next. Next again. Press Browse. Come over to your Z drive. Access Home. Deck. Go to your Downloads folder and access the DLSS folder we just created. Press OK. Next. And in here we'll have a series of choices available. We want to make sure that version.dll is selected, followed by Enable Support for AMD and Intel GPUs. Make sure both of these are selected as shown and press Next and Install. Once the installer completes, we will get an error message. Just select this and press OK. Untick the README and press Finish. While we're in Steam, press the cog symbol on Final Fantasy 16 manage and browse local files to be taken to the main installation directory for the game. Go back to your downloads folder and access the DLSS folder which now contains all of the files required for the mod to work. Highlight all of these, right click and copy and return to your Final Fantasy 16 folder. In here we want to right click on an empty space and paste all 22 items. I'm going to apply to all, write into, and apply to all and overwrite as I've installed this before. Once those files are being copied, scroll down until you find nvngx.dll. Right click on this and delete. On our nvngx DLSS file, we want to right click and copy, pasting this into an open space. We'll be asked to enter a new file name. Simply drag the underscore and DLSS open your Steam keyboard with Steam and X, press backspace, enter and close the keyboard. Next come back to your web browser and access Final Fantasy 16 Fixes GitHub page linked in the description of this video. We want to scroll down until we find releases and then scroll down again until we find the main zip file which is this one here 0.8.5. In our downloads folder Access the zip file for FF16 fix and extract this here like so. Go inside the folder and we want to grab all of these files and copy. Go back to your Final Fantasy 16 folder, right click on an open space and paste all of these items. After all of those files are copied, we want to scroll down until we find ff16fix.ini. Double click this file and in here we'll see a series of options that we can activate or deactivate according to our own preferences. The ones that I'm going to activate are Disable Depth of Field by double clicking on False and changing to True. And doing the same again for Disable Cinematic Effects. Read through all of these options and if there's any you want to change just go ahead and change them and then hit the Save button and Close. Once those steps are all complete, go back to Steam and access Final Fantasy 16. 
go to the cog symbol, properties, and we need to make sure the following launch command is entered exactly as shown, which is wine DLL overrides in capitals equals quotation mark D input eight comma version equals N comma B quotation mark space percentage command percentage. Once that's typed exactly as shown, close the window, return to gaming mode and launch the game. Now when you load the game, don't go to the settings menu on the main menu. Load into the game first and then access your settings. Click on super resolution and you should now have the option to choose Nvidia DLSS 3, which is actually FSR 3.1. If you choose from the main menu, I did notice that the game would crash, but when I loaded into the game, everything was working fine. I'm going to set the upscaling to ultra performance to maximize FPS, and you can change this according to your own preferences. I'm going to scroll down and make sure that DLSS frame generation is enabled. Set your frame rate to 90 FPS as the game can reach this amount in some areas. Scroll down more, make sure that Nvidia reflex low latency is enabled, and we want to set all of our settings to low. Again, you can change these according to your own preferences if you desire. On our display tab, we'll see that our graphics card says DLSS enabler GPU adapter, our screen resolution 1280 by 800, make sure your screen mode is full screen, and when you're in game, you'll see that we now have 1280 by 800 resolution with a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. And our FPS is much higher than it was before, and our frame time is a lot smoother too. Now if you made it to the end of my video, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed, please give me a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below, and share this video with others. You all have a wonderful day, look out for one another, and I'll see you later.